Hello. Welcome back to the garden. Getting ready to go on holiday. So I've been doing a few jobs because our son will be looking after the garden and looking after Teddy for us. So I thought I'd better leave it well tended. Not too many jobs for him to do. But yeah, there's a lot going on at the minute. Where are we? Late spring? Although you could say it's already autumn. I think summer's bypassed us. But yeah, hanging baskets I'm really pleased with. I shall give them a good feed just before we go so that he doesn't have to worry about that. The dahlias, it looks as though something's tried to have a nibble of that look. Oh dear. Calla lilies are doing well. I'm wondering if the slugs have got to these two dahlias, because the others are all doing well. Uh, what else? This is a new tub. That I, did I show them doing that? Not sure I did. But yes, yeah, so I've got some double petunias. Um, coleus, we love coleus, don't we? We do. And geranium. And then they were just odd ones that I had left. So Thank yeah. You. Yeah, I'm pleased. And it's hanging basket as well. That's doing really well. I think that one gets just an hour or two more sunshine than the other one does. You're not uh, showing what you've got hiding in the corner either. What's that? Well, apart from Ted. Hello, Ted. Oh, no, it was... Um, the daffodils were in there, and that was a cutting from one of the hookahs that I've just left in there. But it's nice, because otherwise this area doesn't get any... But that's still being eaten, that new... Um, that's supposed to be white feathers. It doesn't look very white, does it? <laughs> They've had a good go with it, definitely. Yeah, they have. Yeah. The lilac's finished, so that's now been trimmed back, ready for next year. Look at the lupins going now. Now that I've got on top of whatever was eating them. <laughs> yeah, looking good. And the clematises have sort of come and gone for the first show anyway. Yeah. There's still a couple of buds on there so I'm going to leave it a bit longer before I cut it back. Mm -hmm. But the um, black lace, that's coming good now. And obviously the hydrangeas. This was new this year. I was going to plant it but it's in bud so I'm going to wait until afterwards. But look at the colour of that, Agapanthus. So there are a couple of agapanthus in there. I think they're just the regular blue ones. And that's going to go down that, on that side. Mm -hmm. Some on the other side as well, when we get around there. No, they're not agapanthus, oh. they're alliums. Ah. Yeah. yeah, and the these arch, are doing well. They are. The arch was looking good, but um, yeah, they're, they're being blown off now. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're all over the grass. Mm. <laughs> it will come again. But it will, yeah, I'm going to cut it. Well, I'm going to try and cut it back now. Somebody's wrapped lights around it haven't they you bought them <laughs> it did look pretty last night didn't it <laughs> it did right let's go this way oh for a change yeah for a change so we have strawberries mm. <laughs> look at them they're coming along quite well yeah but something doesn't look very good down there that's the pepper plant that we bought so no something's eating it I thought it was slugs and snails, but I've put the stuff down to stop them, but it's still getting eaten. And then these are double petunias as well, because I like them, so, and we just had a space, so I filled it. Another lily coming up? Calla lily, yep. Mm -hmm. oh, it looks like I need to go around this and deadhead. Yeah, so we're getting there. The choice here is finished flowering, so I've given that a real good cut back as well. Make a bit of space. This should be ready to open soon. You know what will happen, it'll open when we're away. Mm, definitely. 
and there was a calla lily in here but there's absolutely nothing no signs whatsoever hmm. so whether that's been eaten or what i don't know is that the what did you say they were the um alliums yeah alliums. so they've already flowered there's something else coming up down there. i think the one nearest the hydrangea is a, a yucca that needs sorting but i think those down there near the wood are drumstick alliums got a little conifer hiding away near the tree yeah <laughs> yeah these sprigs need cutting back they, they do yeah because there's a from the tree. there's a fern down there and there you is. can't see it yeah maybe that's a job in a little while yeah and, and then the, your uh, daisies look they're oh, in my, bud my daisies are always uh, your daisies uh, they're wild plants so yeah they grow like wild plants yeah but the hebe's looking nice yeah that was a bit scraggly as that I was remember. over there wasn't it we moved it Mm. And give it a good haircut. It's liking that. Yeah, it's liking it there. Verbena, a white one. So that's in flower now, coming into flower. More calla lilies? No, they're not calla lilies, oh. they're ordinary lilies. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're coming up. What, even the ones in the garden? Those at the back? Mm. No, they're gladioli. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So I just like the colour that they were, so I planted, I bought them and planted them. That's an Andina with the pinky stems. And more lilies. That's arum lilies this time. Of course it is. Yeah, another ver uh, Veronica. Uh -huh. Yeah. What have we got here? Oh, peaches. Look, we have peaches again. And I did have to pull a load off because they're not supposed to touch. We always get fruit on this, but we never get we never fruit get to them. eat. <laughs> the birds get to them before we do. I think it's time I trimmed that back now, but it's flowered, a white hebe, and it's flowered all through winter. Mm. It's just going over now. Is there a fuchsia down there? No. Oh. I can't remember what it is. We're getting them all wrong today. Good job I'm not the gardener. I can't remember what it is, but it's not a fuchsia, no. That's a fuchsia just there. <laughs> I know that's a bamboo. That's a bamboo. What's this? That is a Japanese maple. That's hey, it. Yeah. Got one right. Do you know what that is? Uh, it's a plant. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same as your tree. All oh, right. So it's a sporum. But it's a pittosporum globe. It's called. Okay. So it's supposed to be a globe. And I know what that is. Yeah. So th this is our little problem, child. I've always wanted a monkey puzzle tree, and when I was a kid, we used to go past one on the school bus. Absolutely loved it. And I knew they grew big, but when we bought this 24 odd years ago, it was a little twig and it was in a big garden. Since then we've moved, it's in a smaller garden and this area really needs some care and attention because that it, needs to come out. It looks a real mess, yeah, it really it's, does. It's not in the best of places and we've no. also got the olive tree there which takes a lot of management and, and a lot of room and the eucalyptus which is followed the sun. It's right over here. <laughs> it's just <laughs> crazy. It's not gone up, it's gone across. No. So, yeah, yeah, the monkey puzzle tree needs to go. So, if anybody's got 50 quid and they want to come and dig it up, um, feel free. <laughs> feel free. I'll yeah. let it go. I don't want to get rid of it, but it's, it's really not going to. It's gonna, too big for this garden. It, it's not going to. Where we there. came from, it would have been fine. But, yeah. yeah. And if you ever try and do any gardening in this area, you get oh, stabbed. Yeah. It's, these, <laughs> these are really, really, if you've never had one or never experienced them, these are absolutely razor sharp. They're lethal, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, if you've got 50 quid and you want a monkey puzzle tree, <laughs> get into Feel it. Feel free. <laughs> this does really well, actually, because it's a Mediterranean plant. It's not in the sunniest place in the garden. Mm. This is our shade border, really. Mm. Yeah, it's but it's well. still doing, but it is See, searching. It's, oh, look, it's look what I've just spotted. And everything. Oh, you got some, got some fruit. Mm, got some fruit coming. <laughs> and that was um, apparently dead about yeah. six, seven years ago. Yeah, when we moved it, it really looked as though it had died. Mm. But no, it's come back with vengeance. It's yeah. just not a very nice shape. But this area does need some care and attention. It needs a and lot of care. Like a massive, great oh. big... Um, conifer tree there which yeah. takes a lot of light this I don't know what it's that right takes me, a lot of light as well in garden. we do trim it back never no, mind obviously yeah but we just need to trim back some of this maybe some of the hedging yeah at the back here I think that bamboo half of it needs cutting out maybe transplanting in the corner well the big one really needs to go to the back 
yeah. and grow up there because it's got plenty of room. Eucalyptus yeah. just needs to come out. Cause that's yeah, because that bamboo at the back's really struggling. Yeah, well, it's next to the conifer, which sucks all the water up. Yeah. And they need water, so that needs moving, put in somewhere else. So, yeah, that's perhaps our project for when we come back from holiday then. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Now, hookahs are doing all right there, you see. They like the shade. And they're okay with it not being too wet either. And you've got a bird scarer because you put grass down. Yeah, yeah. And how good was it? Well, he's chewing a feather. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered what he'd got. Um, what are you doing, Ted? When the grass seed was down, they were a nightmare, the birds. Now that they can't get the grass seed, I've not seen a bird. So maybe their bellies overrule that. Right. You with me? Uh, kind yeah. Of, yeah, I think the stuff <laughs> I put down was more effective. Probably. Tin for them, bits yeah. of rope and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, the patching's going well. Look, look at that, look at that. Bit of patching. Yeah, the grass. For somebody that said the grass is rubbish and, and hated it and didn't want it and blah, 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 it's come back really well. It has come back well. There are a lot of weeds in it. And I've put two treatments down and they've not touched the weeds, so I don't know what's going on. But hey. That's Good. That hosta is fab, isn't it? And it hasn't been eaten. No, because it's in a pot. Yeah, well, the others are, and they've been eaten. That um, white feather one has been yeah. in a pot. Yeah. Bizarre. Yeah, very bizarre. Well, moving on. Okay, so. Your unruly bush. Your unruly bush that <laughs> needs boring. hacking again. It does need a trim it back. It does need a trim back. Sisters, that's in flower now and in bud. Coming good. Pretty. Yeah. And lots and of yuccas. They're not yuccas. Ah, different one we're talking about. Hostas. Hostas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the only one I'm worried about is this little dinky one here. <laughs> it just doesn't seem to be growing. No, I don't know what's wrong with it. I wonder whether I'll dig it up and put it in a pot. Mm, but that one at the back, it's hidden. Yeah. That's probably it's, the best uh, one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's not a bad one either. Mm -hmm. But I think, if you look at the brown spots on there, it might be getting a little bit scorched. Or this was where the flooding was, wasn't it? It's still wet now. And it's still it. wet, yeah. So it could be that it had too much water, but they're supposed to like water. Mm. Yeah, you can feel the grass is sodden. Yeah. The Japanese maples just got Oh, old. Yeah, I just, I love it, but I just don't know whether I ought to trim it are you supposed to trim japanese maples i don't know That's i've the raised internet, the crown though, yeah? yeah do you trim japanese maples internet what's your verdict can you let me know because that really is taking over See, but i I'm, do love it <laughs> i've got a rule that says two chances <laughs> well yeah yeah i don't think you'll kill it no look at the still be going crazy see that loves the moisture mm -hmm. as well and we did have a beautiful rose, but it's gone over now. But there's another bud up there. Oh, and the on. honeysuckle is in flower as well. Well, in bud. Uh, that, that just goes. Yeah, that well, needs a good hack back. And the jasmine. And the jasmine yeah. yeah. It just goes absolutely wild, but the colour on that jasmine this year. It's beautiful. Mm. And as for. The Wygela. <laughs> oh my. Well, it, I mean, it's not as colour. It's not as jam packed as it was, because you can see it's all on the floor. But it was just a blaze of. Hot pink, wasn't it? It was beautiful. Yeah. But that's going to get a real good hack back as well this time because you can't see it, anything else that's there. However, I am pleased with the garden this year. Good. I am, yeah. Even that delphinium doesn't seem to have minded the rain. Look, that's growing. It is good soil here because I conditioned it all. But uh, yeah. Oh, you put loads in, but it still needs more. But it just gets so wet. Look at this one, this is ready to pop, the hydrangea. Yeah, it's very full. Yeah, and I can't remember what that is. And there don't seem to be a ticket. Internet, what is it? I've got a feeling it's either a salvia or it's another Veronica. Because I like them, I put them everywhere. <laughs> that's a Veronica, little pink one. Yeah. So that's it really. So I have done quite a bit of tidying up ready. I'm going to have to cut the grass before we go. Well, we've got a few more days before we go, haven't we? One or two. One or two. 
So yeah, I need to cut the grass before we go and edge it for him. He's a good lad, looks after it. <laughs> I still ring him every day and say, have you watered my plants? Yeah. So I'm getting there, we're getting there. I think Ted's going to sunbathe for the afternoon. Me, I'm going to watch some tennis. <laughs> so, whatever you're doing, have fun, take care. See you next time. Bye. And what Ted forgot to mention is, we got tomatoes.